<laughs> As the days go by, I'm getting comfortable with the team and the system and, you know, every defensive scheme we have with somebody. So, yes, I am. Thank, Thank you. you. Talking to Coach Dunn, she says you really bring that Detroit Shock type of toughness to the team. Can you kind of describe what you think that means? Or? Um, it's just me going to, going out and playing my game, you know, whether it's rebounding, guarding somebody like I did tonight, I had the guard cap. It's just my passion for the game, just going out there and helping my team win. How do you describe your comfort level with your new teammates so far? Obviously, it's I feel, working. I feel real welcome and love, you know, the, the vets kind of bring me in, you know, being my second year. And it's just all-around team win, and just me being comfortable, learning everything. Um, here in the Indiana system, so I'm, I'm doing pretty good here. I'm comfortable. Just how about your environment, your surroundings? Is it pretty similar to Tulsa? Uh, <laughs> as far as what? The team, the fans? Just the city, the fans, the team. No, the city is better. I mean, the fans is about to say, you know, the fans out in Tulsa really came and support you. Okay, just about this win in general. Can really build some more confidence moving forward for the team? You know, we're taking it one game at a time, trying to, you know, get our chemistry. Since everybody um, is here, we're just trying to get our chemistry together and build that at one game at a time. Thank you. Thank you. The only weekend, it seems like you're fitting in pretty well with this team. Uh, why do you think that is? It's just like you're gentlemen. <laughs> no, just everybody just bringing me here. You know, I'm comfortable with them. And you know what I mean. A mistake, everybody just stand together, and that's, that's how we get this win. Now, what was it like Arden Cappy? It <laughs> seemed like you might have got under his skin there a little bit, obviously, um, by that hard foul. Yeah, I think Cappy, she's a great athlete. It was it was tough guarding her, but I think it was all around team defense. You know, whether if I got beat, I knew I had somebody behind me to help um, contain Cappy. So she's a great um, player. What makes her so hard to guard? She can do it all. She got the three. She can go off the bounce. She got a mid-range. She can get to the free throw line. You know, she has it all. So she's a, a hard person to guard. It's kind of like when we had to guard Ketchens or Douglas last year uh, when we was in Detroit. You know, that was a tough series. How big an addition is Shavante? <laughs> oh my gosh! You know, she's just been huge for this team. And uh, you know, when we first, when I first heard the news about her coming to our team, I thought they were joking. Um, but you know, just to have her on our team, she just brings so much athleticism, <laughs> offensively and defensively. Just having a presence, and you know, getting somebody such as her. Um, I mean, obviously playing against her last year in Detroit, going to the matchups and what we had to had to do to stop her, and now to have a player like that on our team, you know, I think it's a great addition for us. You gotta wake up early and go to Minnesota tomorrow. Does, does the game plan change at all? Are you gonna play as up tempo as you did tonight? Or you, know? <laughs> um, you know, def the, I think the game plan stays the same as far as the up tempo. Um, you know, making sure one of the things our staple has to be defense. So every night, no matter where we go, no matter if it's a back to back or whatever, if we have days in between, defensive is our staple. So we have to come out. We have to play great defense. Um, revived a little bit, you know, my mind and my body. I'm sleeping on regular times, eating on regular times. So I think that any time you can, you know, just catch up. And now just getting in the gym and um, getting a lot of shots up, getting in a rhythm. And, uh, you know, it feels good right now. Hopefully I can continue. So it's just pretty much been all about routine, just getting it back in the flow of things? Yeah, I think so. It's just about routine, um, routine, rest, and uh, rhythm, and uh, just repetition. I think all those are four R's, so <laughs> write that down. Yeah, it's just about those, you know, simple things. And I knew it would come around. I wasn't stressed. I don't think, you know, many people were stressed. I think they were kind of giving me the benefit of the doubt, hopefully. Um, so I'm just happy that it's finally come together. Does any, does any of that have to do with playing point guard now for a little bit? Um, it, maybe, you know, just because I have I do have the ball in my hands a lot. But, um, you know, it, it's it's a combination of a lot of things. I, I think more so it's, again, goes back to those R's, rest, rhythm, repetition, and all that. But, you know, I do, I do have it in my hands, and I'm trying to um, – you know, be able to be conscious about, you know, getting myself involved, but also, you know, when I'm playing point, getting other people involved as well. And why do you think Zealous is fitting so well with this team? Because she's a nutcase, and we added another nutcase. Um, I think, you know, she fits in so well because, um, you know, she's another dimension maybe that we didn't have. Um, she's so athletic. She's so quick. Um, you know, she just brings versatility. Again, she can swing over to the one. She helps me out when I need a little a breather and, um, you know, she can play the two. And, and she's, you know, 
played a big role on a, a big team last year in Detroit and uh, saw, you know, what it takes to, to be a contender, uh, you know, a championship contender. So I think her experience last year and her overseas experience this year really helped her, um, you know, blossom in the second year. You went down there late at the end of the game. Uh, can you tell us what happened? Did you feel all right? Well, I was in a defensive play with Cappy and uh, I think I've just landed on someone's foot and unfortunately rolled it a little bit. So tonight will be a a case of just resting it and getting some compression and uh, hopefully tomorrow it'll pull up without too much drama. She uh, stepped up big for us off the bench, 6 for 10 from the field, 12 free throw attempts, 23 points and anytime you can get that kind of help off the bench it's uh, super and she did a really good job defending too so I thought we did some good things in spurts, at times we looked like we made some uh, kind of odd decisions uh, we really um, haven't had a lot of time practicing inbounding the ball there at the end of the game, and it looked like it. But I thought overall we we did what we needed to win. You know, we got to the free throw line. We, we didn't lose our poise and composure when they went zone, and uh, we just probably did the best we could do on Pondexter. She is so, so good. I think we'd held her to, what, four points at half, and you knew she was going to try to take over. So, uh, you know, we're, we're just pleased to, to beat a, a good team like New York. And in some ways, it's almost Tough-minded, physical, get to the rim, um, just come off the bench and help you. You know, uh, Shay didn't, we didn't get as much out of her offensively as we usually do. She missed, she could have easily had 10 points uh, with some of the shots that she had. Uh, but I thought we got good minutes from the bench. You know, maybe not as many points as we've gotten other than Zealous, but it was good. And, and it was good to see Katie shooting well again, uh, knocking down those open shots. Uh, 17 assists, you know, uh, we out-rebounded them, so... Uh, and they're very good. They're really, really tough team for us. Tully's injury, do you know what it is yet? Don't know yet. I hope it's a minor sprain. It looks like it's some type of foot thing, but we'll find out tomorrow. Uh, we certainly don't need to yeah. be down another point guard. But the good news is I think you're seeing that Zealous uh, is helping us some there. We're giving her as many minutes as we can so that we've got another combo guard. Uh, but it's going to be tough to get on the flight in the morning and go to Minnesota. Can, can you talk about this, just their persistence tonight and hanging in there? Like a, it just seemed like a really tough physical game. Well, it was a very tough physical game. Um, I, I thought we were we showed a lot of poise and toughness. You know, you knew they were going to make a run. I mean, they weren't going to lay down and die. And they're they're too talented. Um, you know, and and I thought we just were relentless in our desire to not not lose. You know, you, we're gonna, you're not going to steal something in our gym. And I thought that showed a lot of character because uh, they hit some big threes down the stretch. It was nice that we had that nice little lead. Can you? Is there anything in Katie's game? the last couple games where she's just really come out. I, she's just looking to score. You know, she's looking to take that shot. She's got the green light when she's open. I mean, she's our designated shooter. Um, sometimes it's a little tougher for her now that she's playing some point because she has to handle the ball and bring the ball down the floor. It'd uh, be nice if we could let her just flow into some stuff without having to do that. But, but it puts the ball in her hands, and I think sometimes when she comes down the floor with the ball, she decides, hey, I'm open. I'm just going to take the shot, which is good. Coach, anything new on January? Um... We're hoping that through this week um, she will continue to improve. Uh, we've seen improvement. Um, uh, optimistically, I'm hoping to see her back in time for the Connecticut series. Uh, but we're not going to rush it. We don't want to do anything to further aggravate it. And the, the way she plays, she plays so hard, so intense, so physical, we almost have to make sure we protect her, you know, and that she's ready to play on that knee. So. Um, we're crossing our fingers for that, but if it's, she's not ready, then we'll, we'll keep waiting. Do you see Shavante's strong play affecting her return at all? Or um, I, you know, the good news about Shavante, can, she can play the one, the two, and the three. So she's going to get her minutes, especially when she gets to the free throw line and scores 23 points. We don't have to worry about that.